What is happening YouTube, it's your boy Tech Tricks back with another video and today we're gonna play some games on our Apple TV using DualShock 4. Here we go! First things first, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next videos to come of tips and tricks on your iPhone and your Android. Check out my merch below at 1130.ca. And here we go. First thing we need to do is to pair our DualShock 4 on our Apple TV. But before anything else, you need to get tvOS 13 on your Apple TV. This would not work on a firmware lower than tvOS 13. In WWDC 2019, Apple released tvOS 13 alongside with iOS 13 and, and iPadOS 13. So today we're gonna go ahead and play around with Apple TV tvOS 13. As of right now, there's only a few games that works with this. You can only use it on certain games, so we're very limited. So we're gonna go ahead and go to settings, remotes and device and devices. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and go to Bluetooth and we're gonna connect our DualShock 4. To put it on pairing mode, what you need to do is put your DualShock 4 in pairing mode. How you want to do that is hold this the PlayStation button and the share button together until the light starts blinking on the back there you go now you should be able to see your DualShock 4 wireless controller go ahead and click that there you go and as you can see it's connected once it's connected you'll be able to see your DualShock 4 with the red light on the back then that's how you know that it's connected. Now let's go ahead and play some games. Now there's only a few games that works with this. So we're gonna go ahead and try a few and see which games actually work. Let's try playing very popular Jetpack Joyride. Now let's go ahead and play some games. Here we go. There you go. I don't know what else, I don't know how many controls the Joy, J Jetpack Joyride actually has, but reality, we only have the X button right now that works. None of these actually work up here. The square is just a start button. There you go. Wow, terrible. I'm horrible at this game as you guys can see, but... I'm gonna try our best to get far. Ooh! That was a good one. Nice. Whoa, here we go. Okay, that's cool. All right on. Ooh. Oh, horrible. And there you go. It's pretty good. As you guys can see there, it works very well. So let's try out a different game. This would also work as your... There you go, if you double click. You won't need your Apple remote anymore, so you'll be able to do it with your PS4 now. Control everything. So now let's go ahead and try a more difficult game. 
maybe a racing game or something. Now let's go ahead and try out Asphalt 8. Here we go. There you go. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and play. Sure, we'll go classic. Let's try this out. Next, next, and let's start the race. So now bear with me here. It's gonna be tough playing, so that you guys can see that I'm using the controller actually for this game. So just bear with me. I'll probably suck again, but let's do it. Now, I don't know the controls right now, but we're going to try it out. Uh, I think, oh, there we go. Oh, that's, no. <laughs> oh, right on. Start killing people already. That's good. There we go. There you go. Let's do it. So I think I'm doing it right. The trigger up here is the gas and then brake is on the left. There you go. That's good for now. So you can drift. There you go. It's like that. You can use the analog as well. Yep. There we go. NOS is right. Pressing X is NOS. There you go. Try to catch up to these guys. There we go. Let's try that out. I guess this is the spot. Let's do it. Oh man. Horrible. There you go, right on. Try not to kill ourselves now. Very nice. Let's go this way. Nice. Let's do it. Ooh, get out of the way. Oh, very nice. Oh no. Ooh. Horrible. Ah, oh, I didn't quite make it. That's all good. Woo! That was a tough one. Well, as you all can see, it works very well with the PS4 remote. I love playing with this. Now we can have a controller for our Apple TV. So now let's go ahead and go back to home. Little overview that Apple is trying to pursue here on tvOS 13, they released this, is the Apple Arcade. Let's go ahead and go to it. With Apple Arcade, there would be 100 games coming this fall. Everything is uh, through a subscription. So play ad-free on your iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple TV. Be the first to know when it launches, right? Pay a monthly subscription, and then everything else would be technically part of it. And then you'll be able to play a bunch of games without paying for individual games. So it's, I think it's a pretty good deal, depending on how much they ask for monthly. But hopefully, um, it's not so expensive 
and it'll be kind of like Netflix for uh, games. So if you're a guy like me or a person like me who loves to play games, little indie games, just like uh, what you get on your tablet and your mobile devices, then this is the best way to grab all the games that you could play all in one package. So that's it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tuto tutorial how to play games using DualShock 4 on your Apple TV. Uh, comment below as well if you guys are interested to, on purchasing the Apple Arcade and what kind of games worked for you guys when you are using your DualShock 4. Check out my other videos as well on how to pair your DualShock 4 on your iPhone and iPad. Well, that's it for today, guys. Hope you guys have a good day and stay grateful. Peace.